This baby is waiting for someone to rescue him. The neighbors said to my husband that he had been tied up at least five years. All the food is gone. Record training animals to fence. This is where he's been living. He looked completely defeated. My husband couldn't get that eye contact out of his head. Oh my gosh. He has been here so long. I'm trying as hard as I can and I cannot budge this thing. After being called to the neighbor's house for some work, we saw him through the side fence. He's in fear. He doesn't know what's going on. It's okay. It's okay. Come here, buddy. He knows that that boy's ready. He's so ready to go. Come on. We're getting in the truck. After he got in the truck, he kind of started to perk up a little bit. Freedom ride. Freedom ride. You say, you say goodbye. Hooch, you say goodbye. Hey, buddy. As soon as he got home, he was very friendly. Hi. Nice to meet you. He was very sensitive. He was scared of anything. The next day, we did take him to the vet. We found out that he was very heavy heartworm, and we knew that was going to be very expensive. He was a really good boy. So I posted the story about him, and it went viral. And so that's how I was able to raise the money for him. We moved it into the office because we were nervous about introducing him to our current dogs. One day, he accidentally got out of the office and encountered our other German Shepherd. Oh, look how sweet. It turns out they're my best friends. He's been totally gentle and great around all dogs, and it's heartwarming seeing him have so much fun with all of these other dogs because he's been alone for so long. Oh my gosh. We did find a couple of homes for him, but we just kept feeling like he's our dog, whether we plan to have another dog or not. This is his home and he's happy here. And we love him.